morning, you guys. I am actually going a little vlog style right now, but I'll put you guys on a tripod here in a minute. But I'm super excited because I'm officially starting to film decluttering my house and like more of like the minimalism series that's gonna be going on here on this channel. So um, I'm starting that off today. I'm obviously starting in my laundry room. I'm gonna give you guys kind of a tour so you kind of know what I'm looking at and like what I'm doing. This house needs a lot of work. I have decluttered a lot, but there has been a lot of stuff that's like hidden clutter. I'm kind of gonna just be working on all of that kind of stuff. And I'm hoping that you guys can take something from this and get a little motivation at least. And maybe I could give you some advice or encourage you to start your own minimalism journey and just kind of show you um, the freedom that it brings. So I'm super excited to get started. Mostly I'm gonna be working on this cabinet. There's not much in here. I'm starting in the laundry room because it's one of the easiest places for me to start. So I've got a bunch of stuff up there. Some of it I'm probably gonna to have to ask Connor. He is not here right now and I really only have an hour until we have to be somewhere. Uh, hence why I'm like dressed up. Normally in these videos, I'm probably going to be wearing like pajama pants, but let me show you guys the rest of the laundry room. So the laundry room is off of our kitchen. We have a little baby gate here because we don't really like Riker getting in here. Um, off the side we have um, our rags. We don't currently buy paper towels anymore, um, just purely for money saving purposes. So we've been using rags. And then we have trash there, which does need to get taken out. Um, we recently hung this ironing board here. Um, in the iron. I've kind of been rearranging our house. Um, this is just a piece of decor that I have that I thought might look cute there, so it's just sitting there. Um, don't have much on top of our washer and dryer, but a couple things that need to be figured out. Yeah, I think Riker's awake, so this might have to wait till later today. But let me just show you. <laughs> let me show you the rest of what I got. So I've got these hangers. Honestly, they're just, they're purely for decor purposes, but I might go ahead and declutter those. Connor has his pull-up bar up there. Obviously going to look through these cabinets and then over here, so you come in from the garage into the laundry room, but Connor had made me um, this little thing to hang the diaper bag full of junk and my purse. And then we have the baby carrier and the shopping cart cover. That's that black thing in the middle. And then I just put a cute little wreath over it to help with the height the weird height difference. And then over here on this wall, we have all of our friends and family's Christmas cards. And then um, actually Connor got this from work. It was broken and they usually normal, use it for like the outside of houses. And um, he kind of repurposed it for me. We added some hooks and they hold our keys. Um, there's extra picture frame in here. So I'll have to figure out what to do with that. And then we also tend to take off our shoes in here once we get home. So we decided to put a just over the door shoe rack because there's really not a lot of floor space for us to have like a shoe rack that would like come out of the wall. Like both doors, when they're open, they're pretty close to each other. So there would be no possible way. So we did an over the door shoe rack and you can't really see it from inside our house. So it doesn't bother us really at all. All right, I gotta go get my son cause he just woke up. So this I guess is probably just gonna have to wait till the next time that I pick up the camera. But I'll just jump right into the montage. Here you'll see me staring at the cabinet. Tell me in the comments below, do any of you guys just stare at a decluttering project until you can figure out in your head what you're gonna do? Let me know.
So I made a mistake while doing this decluttering project because I just tried to organize this stuff that I already had in the cabinet when really I needed to declutter the, all the stuff that I had so that I could get a smaller basket to actually fit inside the cabinet, which we'll see later. I do, at this portion of the video, have to shout out Katie Queesbreath. I honestly, I've said your name before, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but she wanted me to do a declutter of the laundry room and I said I would shout out, shout you out if you commented on the last video of the room that you wanted to see decluttered. I did want to do a last little laundry room kind of tour for you guys to show you what um, it looks like after I've decluttered and also kind of give you some tips on just like my organization and stuff. First things first, I did want to say that we got a new ironing board mat. We got this room at home. Ours was like from the 80s. So we got just like a, like a cover for it and it's like brand new and it looks great. And we just kept like the ironing board itself. Still kept Connor's, whatever this is called, pull up bar. Um, in here. As you can see, we've already gone through one of, I think in the video you saw that there were two of these, so we've gone through one. I just keep the dryer sheets and the color catchers over here. This is Riker's Laundry Soap. It's unscented. And then I have some stain removers. I keep those all at my level that I can reach. I actually can't reach anything past that, so these are just extra dryer balls. This is like a lingerie bag. This is a tarp. Oh, we actually have a tarp in Riker's room. I call it a tarp. They're sheets. They're old sheets. But we use them as paint tarps for our projects that we do in the house. And then this is what we decided to keep out of the stuff that we decluttered. So in that is just like boxes for our security system, I think is mostly what's in there. And just a couple extra things for the house. We decluttered a whole ton of it. I um, was going to try to put everything pretty much back in there in like this big old basket. It ended up not working, um, so I ended up using this smaller basket and I had Connor help me declutter because most of it was kind of, I needed some of his approval on getting rid of some of that stuff and he graciously helped me declutter that. Another thing that I did want to mention before I end this video was that for organizing the laundry room, something that I heard on a podcast, I honestly wish I could tell you, but I can't, I don't, I, I don't remember. First. Number one, declutter first before you organize. With any room, make sure you go through everything, declutter first before you start to organize. That way you have less to work with. It's kind of obvious, but one thing that we just, we try to organize our junk when really we need to declutter and then organize. You clearly saw that whenever I was trying to just organize all of our junk into the, a bigger basket that didn't work and ended up having to re declutter and then organize again. So I ended up having to do more steps than I needed to. Second thing, try to make organizing as easy for your family as possible. So take, for example, my laundry room. I have a lot of stuff in here only because this area in our house Riker's flinging stuff at the washing machine. That's what you probably hear. I have a lot of stuff in here because if I didn't have a lot of organizing stuff in this room, it would just become a mess of stuff all over the floor because this is just our drop zone. Like we come in through the garage, we park both of our cars in the garage, we come in and we just land all of our stuff here. We made a spot for Riker's diaper bag because it always just landed on one of these, like the washer or the dryer. 
a spot for my purse because it would land on the washer or dryer or in the dining room, which I did not want anything in the dining room. These, this stuff usually actually sits in my car, but um, it, this little hook thing, which cost us like zero dollars, by the way, Connor made this, cost us like no money at all. So we got some hooks, so we did that. And then our keys were the second thing. So we have this area where we put keys because our keys would land on the washer or the dryer and our mail would land on the washer or the dryer. And so we put a mail slot in here. And later on, I can show you guys in a different video kind of how we take care of our mail situation. That's gonna be like a whole different video. But um, this was just kind of like mail that is family and friends and Christmas cards and baby showers and stuff like that. Stuff that we need to be reminded of, we put there. And then the biggest thing for us was getting this shoe organizer, which I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but getting the shoe organizer because if you saw our laundry room before we got this shoe organizer, you would see shoes just everywhere, all over the floor. Shoes were everywhere. So we needed a place to store shoes, even if it's not like the prettiest thing in the world it keeps the shoes off the floor and I'm all about that. So try to see like if once you were organizing, kind of give your house like a walkthrough. Let's say your children take off their jackets and they throw them in, let's say the chair. You know, nobody does that, Connor. <laughs> he likes to throw his jackets on this chair. So I was like, we need something cute in the house to hold jackets. We need somewhere in this house to hold jackets because it's either going to end up on the chair or it's going to end up on the hook. So try to find like that general area. Where do your kids kick off their shoes at? Where do you plop your mail down? Try to find somewhere in that area that you can organize your stuff. I hope this is making sense for you guys. This is just one of my major things that has helped me get my house crap together so, so, so much. The rags. So whenever we have like a dirty rag, we would just like toss it in here, like um, in like a bag or just like on top of the washer. So I bought this little basket now that we just throw our rags in and I organize where we already were putting things. So it's so much easier for your family to do it that way. So that was kind of long winded, but I wanted to get that information to you guys. So make sure you go check out my Instagram, Minimal Mom Kenna. I'm super excited to show you guys some um, fun things that are going on over there. We have kind of like room makeovers going on um, it, that will come to this channel soon. So I'm super excited for that. If you are new here, I would love it if you would subscribe and hit that bell notification button so you can get notified whenever I post, which is Mondays at 9 a.m right now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>